Okay, folks, it is Friday, August 23rd, 2013. We are down in Baytown, Texas. Um, got this call as a referral from my now good friend John Tucker. And uh, this lady has got bees in the wall. Now, the reason I say the wall is because I think I've already found them. But <clears throat> seeing them go in here at the top of the wall and the bottom of the siding, that's usually a sign that they're in the floor joists. And, I mean, that's where I find them, you know, 80, 90% of the time they're in the floor joists. But um, we'll show you, go inside here in just a minute where I think they're at. But uh, anyway, inside this wall is her garage. But you can see where they've gone along here and they try to uh, foam up the entrances. And I tell people time and time again, don't bother, it doesn't work. That foam, when it's wet, it'll just stick you a bunch of bees and kill them, and then once it dries, they will chew it, and they'll just tear it out of their way. So, you cannot foam the entrance, it won't work. Um, best thing you can ever do is just have somebody come get the bees out of the wall, because uh, this is just going to be a bigger nightmare. Now, this lady called me, um, she said her neighbor was out here mowing, his house is behind me here, but he was out here mowing the other day and got stung, and so they, they're afraid they're getting aggressive, which... I don't see it here, but she said it was real hot that day and there was a lot of them out. And this looks like it's going to be a good sized colony because there's a good activity, but I'll take you inside here. Okay, so we're inside it. now, and uh, what I did was my first assumption was that they were in the ceiling. And so I get up here and I put my ear against the ceiling and I knock on it and can't hear anything. And so I checked down the line thinking maybe there's separate floor joists and they were over one, checked in here in the closet, uh, not in there. What I did instead was just put my wall, my ear right up against the wall here and give a little knock on the wall. And you can hear them in there all getting, they all start buzzing and get worked up. So, pretty sure they're in the wall. I think it should be pretty easy. We'll take off this trim here along the top and trim in the corner. And the trim over here in this corner. And then we'll take off probably both these pieces of paneling here. I might have to disassemble that light, but I'm not sure. But definitely take off this piece of paneling and there's drywall behind it. So we'll cut that drywall out and that should open it up for us. So. Okay, folks, so we got them opened up here. Uh, I got a little excited and... Uh, Forgot to take the video as soon as I got them opened up, but I've been working down here at the bottom cutting off honeycomb. You can see where it was all hanging down about that long. And uh, we're going up the inside of the wall here, all the way up to the tippy top. And I'll have to cut out that last little bit of drywall once I get up that high. <clears throat> but um, these studs, these wall studs look like they're about uh, 20, 24 inches on center. And these bees, they've just got it packed in here perfect. I mean, nice straight combs, uh, real long skinny things. But uh, anyway, just want to show this a little bit. Uh, we'll be cutting out comb. We'll try to get all this honeycomb down here in the bottom right. You can see the lighter stuff. And then you've got all this old, that might be older honeycomb there and all brood comb. But the bees are bunching more up top. Um, so I'll probably start vacuuming up some bees. And looking all right, folks, more. you'll have to forgive my Macklemore background music here. But uh, anyway, just want to show you where we're at. The nest was originally all in here in this center wall. As I worked my way up, I found that it was also over on this side, also over on this side. And also up here in the ceiling. So this was a big, big, big nest. And a lot of bees. And a lot of honey. And a lot of mess. And I still haven't caught the queen. It's uh, just after 1 o'clock. And uh, I want to say I started about 8 o'clock. So I've just now finished cutting out combs. And vacuuming bees as much as I can. There's a bunch balled up outside. I'm hoping the queen will work her way out there. I've treated the whole area with bee quick. To try to drive them out of any little crevices they might run into. And I'm going to go get some lunch because I'm starving. But I've got that whole bucket full of scraps, that whole bucket full of scraps. The bottom bucket is full of uh, good clean comb honey. I've got all this comb. It's all brood comb that I'm going to cut out and put in frames. And I've got two boxes, two back boxes full of bees. So yeah, big, big nest. I am beat as all get out. So I am going to lunch and I'll come back. Go, folks, I'm not as bad at this as I thought. Um, never did find the queen when I was doing this job, but I had two vac boxes full of bees, and one vac box was being an awful lot calmer than the other one, and I couldn't figure out why, and I suspected there's a queen in there, but the other bees weren't orienting to the boxes if there was. They were just acting really calm. So when I got home, I took these two boxes of bees, and I shook them into two other hives, just as a, you know, add to them, and I just said, whatever, this one's lost, because I didn't find a queen, so they're going to abscond, so I, uh, shook them into two separate hives as, uh, extra bees. And then I go out here today, two days later, and I find all sorts of bees balling up behind one of the hives that I added to. Sure enough, they're balling around a queen. Now, she's pretty much dead. Um, they've been trying to kill her, just I don't know why. Um, so she's toast. I'm going to go ahead and just let her finish dying, I guess. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show this just for proof. I did catch the queen. I vacuumed her on accident. So that's good news. I can tell that homeowner that you shouldn't be back. It seems like a shame to uh, just let a queen die like this. And... 
I mean, I guess I can get in there and pinch your head at least so it's over faster, but you know, the fact of the matter is, uh, since I combined those two boxes with other hives, there's no, her colony doesn't exist anymore. They're not loyal to her anymore. I can't just go gather them back up. And um, even the bees that were with her, they were balling her trying to kill her. You can see she's crawling around, but she's real slow. She's real weak. She's already pretty badly hurt. Um, but yeah, you know, I just, uh, like I said, it's a shame. But the fact of the matter is, all of my hives out in the backyard right now, at least to my knowledge, all of my hives have good, strong, healthy queens in them. And I don't know anything about the genetics of this one. I don't know if she's got, if they're mean bees, if they're nice bees. I know she was a decently prolific layer and was running a pretty big colony. But, um, I mean, that's, that's it. That's all I know. So, you know, it's a shame to let one go like that. But it's really in the best interest right now. So, that's it for this one. Another job well done.